Now, Calvin Robinson is somebody who seems to be courting uh, controversy for the sake of controversy. And he was on the subcommittee, uh, the Royal Academy of Dances Education Subcommittee, and he was thrown off it after he uh, criticised drag queens reading to children. And he points out that drag queens are sexualized adults, uh, often scantily clad. And he keeps repeating this, and he's uh, he's finally got a payout. He's finally got some sort of... Um, he took the case legally uh, um, and, and got a payout of £8,000, which is a sort of nod in his direction. But I think he's wrong. I, I think he's fundamentally wrong, and I'll explain why. Uh, so... While on the one hand I think um, uh, drag queens per se are perhaps not the ideal readers to children, we actually do want children to be read to on a regular basis, number one. And anyone who's ready to do that, do that and prepared to do that I think is to be encouraged. Number two, uh, the idea of drag is an incredibly old tradition. It goes all the way back uh, to before Shakespeare. And number three, uh, if you're going to criticise drag queens um, and say that uh, children should not be exposed to drag queens, then basically you're saying children shouldn't go to pantomime because the central character in the British pantomime is a drag queen. Uh, and uh, though there are different, there's a different ethos behind the part to the uh, sort of drag queens that you find on RuPaul... Uh, there are there are elements of comparison, and uh, the the idea of a man dressed up as a woman is funny, is entertaining, uh, questions our identity in a way that children are already questioning their identity, and that's probably a good thing. Uh, children love dressing up. Here you've got an adult dressing up, and um, I don't think it's fundamentally sexualized. Uh, I don't think that's how children see drag queens. I think they sim simply see them as funny men in dresses, uh, or even if even if they recognise the gender. Uh, I think the uh, the issue that Calvin Robinson is bringing up is a false and unnecessary issue. Uh, I think it's a prejudiced issue. I think it's an issue based in prejudice and to. Uh, and to um, support it, he appeals to traditional Christianity and traditional British values. Traditional Christianity uh, is is certainly not averse to um, uh, cross-gender casting, and traditional uh, British values are certainly not averse to cross-gender ca ca um, casting. So this idea, this idea of, um, of, 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 of a crusade against drag queens is as absurd as a crusade against um, people who are trans in general, um, people who are confused about their identity, people who are struggling with their identity, people who are um, transitioning. And such people need help rather than hindrance from the mainstream media. Uh, if GB News wishes to be mainstream media, which I think it does, frankly, uh, then it needs to embrace uh, a little more kindness. Uh, th there's room for controversy if there's also a place for kindness. And my criticism of Calvin Robinson is, is, is that he seems a deeply unkind individual hiding behind uh, his frock and, um, and pretending that his outrageously aggressive and unpleasant ideas are cemented in the gospel. They're not, actually. The, the, the gospel has one message, and that is kindness. Uh, love of one's neighbour and uh, a, a readiness to talk to the vulnerable and the unloved. And I don't think that's what 
uh, Calvin Robinson is doing. I mean, if he wishes to dispute that, if he wishes to question that, I'm more than happy to have a conversation with him. Uh, in fact, you know, I'd be delighted to have a conversation with him. I, I don't think I'd be so delighted to refer to him as father. As, as far as I know, he's not ordained as a priest. He's ordained as a deacon. That merits brother at the very most, or reverend, or whatever. Um, but, uh, but not quite father, uh, un unless, unless he wishes to act as some sort of spiritual confessor, in which case, yes, I suppose then, um, as a sort of Starrett's character, he would, um, he would embrace the, um, uh, the title. But as far as I know, that's not his aspiration. But I'd be very interested. I'd be very interested to talk to uh, Calvin Robinson if by any chance he sees this. I mean, he's very welcome to call me and to fix up a, a meeting. Um, but at the moment, I feel he comes across as petulant and eager to uh, score points by being as controversial as possible. Uh, I, I'm also a little bit disturbed that um, rumour has it that he's gone down the Dan Wooten um, alley uh, to, to try and fundraise because he doesn't have enough money. If he doesn't have enough money, he should take his own advice, get a job.